Hey there friends and neighbors, Brent here for Pastor's Farm. Welcome back to the farm. As you can see behind me, cabin is almost done. This will probably be our last video until it warms up in say March, April, maybe May, and it's dry enough that we can get all of our painting done here on the walls. We'll get this trim taken down and get it painted. There'll be two different colors. Um, and then we'll get everything reinstalled and get it all caulked back up and that will for sure be stick a fork in it, done. But as far as construction pieces go, I believe this is the last video. I took Friday off, Saturday, and then Sunday, hopefully. They're calling for rain on Sunday, but we'll see what we can get done between now and then. But I, I, I think this is it. This has got to be it. There can't be anything else. So y'all stick around. We're going to get roofs done. We're going to get the rest of this trim pieces done here around the corners and get everything nice and sealed in as best we can until it is time for paint and caulk. Y'all hang out with us. Again, this is just tacked up. We're gonna take it down and paint it when that time comes. So we just put the three screws in there to hold it for now. y'all we started on our roof up here but we're gonna have to put that on hold here for just a bit and here's why if you look we've got a close to a four foot overhang here and the only support holding this up are our end beams one here and then the other one over here on this end so what we have to do then is come in and put a support here in the middle to help hold it up so we've got to get the support up before we go adding any more weight to our overhang Is that the right way to do it? I'd venture to say no. However, does it work? It'll do. Now you might be wondering why I chose this particular place to put this vertical support. And let me show you a why here on the inside. So if you look here, we've got the window and we've got our king studs and our framing in here for the window. Right here, we've got three studs that run all the way from the floor to our header and I've screwed that support on the outside directly into these three studs here. Now that we've got our little support done we can get back to doing the roof. Come on y'all.
yesterday I got off pattern just a little bit on my spacing with my nails here and you can see I've got a nail head poking through there and I've got one other in here that I'm gonna have to find and we're gonna slap some of this blackjack all-weather roof cement on there to just to seal it in good what I'll also do with this is come in and put a bead up along here to seal this in and then I'll put my flashing there that folds over after I cut those shingles off and that will seal in the edge there along that top corner Alright y'all, so here's what we've got left. We've got this trim piece here on the back and then we've got a little strip here where we'll do a wrap around here the same as we've done with the bottom on both of these corners. So we've got that little piece up there to do on that corner and if you can see under the eaves here there is a 1x6 that runs the length here to close that in. We've still got that piece to do here along this edge and then we've got our little wrap around here to do as well. Other than that, we have the door to finish framing in somehow. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do it. We'll get that done. And then that will be it until it warms up. So we'll be sitting on this kind of as is until it warms up and we can get 
that trim pulled back off and painted and then we'll get the siding painted too as you can see here on the other building we've got the green walls with the brown trim it doesn't look half bad blends in pretty well with the surroundings too so we'll do the same thing here on this one but the roof is done the windows are done obviously all of the walls are done probably could do a little bit more finishing work down here as you can see we're not we're not making better homes and gardens here it's a little sloppy and it's the same thing down here on this corner too but we'll tr we can trim all that up when it comes time to paint it'll be easy to take it down make a couple of quick quick snips slap some paint on there and, and then just tack it right back up I suppose I need to uh, flip my calendar over now that we're into February. But it didn't turn out half bad. That's a million dollar view right there. All right, appreciate y'all joining us. If you stuck around this long, Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We'd certainly appreciate it. We just passed a 300 viewer mark, marching on our way to the required benchmark of 1,000. So if you enjoyed the content, we'd love to have you follow along with us on this journey. Hit that subscribe button. Hope you all have a great week, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.